Las Vegas, baby. We're at Las Vegas Speed Shop at their new location, bringing you one of their cherished items. It's 1932 Ford SoCal Roadster. This sign, by the way, on the back there, I thought I'd bring it up, was painted by Lenny Sr. himself. He used to be an old sign painter, and he's pretty proud of that, and that's cool. This new store is very nice, but we're bringing you this car. Anyway, we want to share this 32 Roadster with you. You want to hang around to the end of the video because we'll cover a lot of items. It's a little warm today, so you might see me get a little bit tongue-tied. I have a cheat sheet in my hand. If I make any mistakes, I'll, you know what, I'll try and correct them as I go along, and I might get all twisted up. Anyway, it's a Brookfield steel body. And uh, the thing about these SoCal Roadsters, they built, I, I think, right around a half a dozen of them or so. Uh, this one was built, uh, it's a Brookfield steel body. It was built for SoCal Speed Shop in Las Vegas right here in 2004. It has been driven around town and that kind of thing. It's got about 9,000 miles on it. It was built by Jimmy Shine and SoCal Speed Shop in Pomona, California for SoCal Speed Shop here in Las Vegas. Um, there's a lot of cool things about the car. And one of the key things about these SoCal Roadsters are you can't get the same combination built by them. Uh, these chassis are all put together and assembled and Brookville sends them the body basically in pieces and the body is actually fit to the chassis where no shims are required. So a lot of time goes into building this car. It takes them about a year to assemble it. That's what it took to put this one together. Uh, go around and kind of give you a feel here. I ha again, I have a little cheat sheet in my hand. I'm going to wander around. I've had a few takes on this and I'm not going to do another one. Uh, the windshield frame itself was was made by SoCal Speed Shop and they're no longer produced. Has a neat little design to it. The rounded corners here, kind of a dual Duval kind of feel, wrap around the cowl kind of thing. Um, all the hand painting was done here by uh, the famous painter, uh, let's see here, Dennis Ricklitz, Pinstriper. So all this SoCal stuff was done, the black stripe, and of course when we get around to the trunk I'll cover that with you too. Um, the hood sides were louvered by Eric Vaughn. These are PS Engineering wheels. These are actually true knockoff wheels. They're not cheap. Uh, we do have, we do cover the full undercarriage. It has a buggy spring in the front. Uh, you'll see us cover the undercarriage video. Uh, that's a chassis engineering style axle. It has SoCal disc brakes in the front. Those are Willwood hidden behind Buick brake drums. It's kind of one of their trademark items. It's really a cool feature. And uh, we'll do a little work here. One of the neat things here is the SoCal Speed Shop uh, emblem in the front of the hood where typically Ford would be. Step back and let you give you a good look. It's like I said, it's about 110 degrees out here, so it is a little bit of a warm day. Uh, it has a 350 Chevy, or excuse me, a 350 Chevy that's stroked to 383 cubic inches. It's a uh, Let's see, it's a Shaver racing engine out of Torrance, California, 383 stroker. Has a 350 uh, uh, automatic trans, has a Ford 9 inch rear end with buggy spring rear. We'll walk around and give you the feel. Very light patina and age on this car, which gives it a good feel and it also makes it enjoyable to own because you can, you know, this is the kind of car you put in your prize collection. Um, but it's also the kind of car that you can take out and drive through Del Mar, drive through the good, good guys' events. You could even drive it to one if it wasn't too far away because you wouldn't want to drive this too far because you'd worry about getting too many chips and stuff on it. It has a Gabe Lopez interior in it. Legendary Gabe Lopez interior. Leather interior, very nicely done. German square weave carpet. Nice high, low car style shifter in it. I love that shifter boot, that's bitchin'. E-brake. These are Moon Eyes made in the USA gauges on the car. Sprint car style steering wheel. There's the uh, Gabe Lopez leather interior right there. But door jam to door jam, just what you'd expect out of Pomona SoCal. And you know, this is their flagship. These are their flagship cars and, and they want them done right and they want to be able to drive them. And this one's definitely been driven. It's just time for this one to go. It sits in the showroom here at Las Vegas SoCal. Again, true knockoff wheels. You'll see the wire ties right here. We'll shut it up here. Panels fit just right, as you would expect. Nice little hot rod in the background there. Give you a nice look there. We'll have a lot of still photos at spudsgarage.com. You're not going to miss much here. Um, 
So if you miss something here, you're going to find it at spudsgarage.com. We'll probably have quite a few minutes of video uh, covering the engine compartment, the undercarriage, so on and so forth, even the trunk for you. But uh, very special car. Like I said, one of about a handful, a handful or maybe a little more built around a half a dozen. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find anything else about it while I look at that cool sign right there. Uh, da, 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 da. Has a step box chassis on it, Gabe Lopez leather interior, that's a glide engineering adjustable seat on it. And you'll see how the graphics by uh, uh, Dennis Ricklitz, how they run down the chassis frame rail there. It is titled as a 32 Ford, it has a 30, 32 Ford VIN 18, you'll see that when we go to the video of the engine compartment. Wow, too much fun. Again, door jam to door jam, very nicely done. It has map pockets in the uh, front kick panels here on both sides, so you got a little place to hide a few things, maybe your sunglasses, so on and so forth. The seat actually flips forward, and the battery is behind the seat over here. It's not in the trunk. It's in a battery box. There's the Glide Engineering seat, which will allow you to kind of recline that seat or move it fore and aft. Um, this is actually the recline function, and here's the fore and aft button. So. You can actually get in this car and move the seat to fit to adjust you, adjust it. Turn metal dash. Again, I told you I was going to screw up. Adjust you. Anyway, I like having fun with my videos. They're real. What I do is very real. We're bringing you a really special car, historic car. Um, we know you're going to dig it. You can actually pick it up here from the showroom in SoCal, Las Vegas. Nice crew here. Beautiful new showroom. Push the button there to shift it. Plenty of foot room in this car, or feet room if you want to call it. Anyway, we're thinking it's about time for you to get in. Take one more good look at the sign here. Have a great day. Hang on to the end of the video and make sure you go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great right, let's day. Take a look this underneath the hood. This is always the fun part. I love this part of the deal. You're looking at a Shavers racing engine. Obviously, it has a lot of SoCal goodies on it. Uh, the guy that founded. Alex Exidius, that it founded SoCal Speed Shop, is signed at the top there, and Pete Chaporis also signed it. And of course, it was built by Jimmy Shine, was involved in the build of the car. Anyway, we're going to go a little, do a little work here. It's a shaving age racing engine. It's a 383 stroker, MSD ignition. It has a uh, Edelbrock Performer RPM intake manifold that's been uh, polished. Electronic cooling fan, dual fan belt drive there, which makes it nice. The VIN on the chassis right there is an 18308199, so it's an early Ford VIN. Carburetor on it is a uh, Holley four barrel. Very nicely done, just nice and tidy as you would expect. This is a very historic car, so it's kind of neat to peek underneath the hood. I'm gonna set this down and we'll go on over to the other side there. Done in true SoCal style. SoCal Speed Shop air filter with a K&N style uh, uh, filter assembly itself. Kind of take you down to this side of the engine here and uh, this is the coolant recovery bottle I believe right there. Nice how they routed it and it goes up and it goes along the hood braces there. Step back, we'll raise the hood here. Nice, uh, I believe those are Sanderson headers. Yes, they're Sanderson short tube headers. Aluminum cylinder heads, 383 stroker. A lot of wiring here is kind of neat too. It's got a lot, of, a lot of cloth wiring in it, so on and so forth. Very nicely done. MSD Pro Billet Distributor. Raise up this so you get really a good peek at it. It's smoking hot here in Las Vegas right now. It's about 110 degrees, so I'm sweating a little bit. This car has been driven, which makes it cool. It's the kind of car you can drive, and it's extremely collectible. But anyway, I'm going to stop right here, set the hood down, walk you around to the driver's side one more time. Anyway, have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com and make sure you hang on to the end of the video. All right, we'll do a little short video here to cover the trunk for you. Again, the interior is all done, including the trunk. The interior was done by Gabe Lopez. Um, so this is German weave, uh, square weave carpet with uh, 
leather trimmed edges and this is because of the buggy spring on the back the mounts and everything need to be right there anyway perfect place to put your lawn chairs and the battery's actually behind the seat talk to you soon make sure you hang on to the end of the video and go to spudsgarage.com take a look at the undercarriage here kind of give you a good feel it is a little bit smoking hot out here we're gonna go around and kind of move around a little bit slow but a little bit fast too Has a SoCal step box chassis underneath it that's a Ford 9 inch di uh, differential with a buggy spring uh, rear suspension setup kind of get a feel here these chassis I probably already covered in the video the body is actually fitted to the chassis or assembled so that no shims are required. Um, it's one of the things that SoCal does when they put these cars together. So the body is actually hand fitted to the chassis. Walk around and kind of give you a feel here. These are PS Engineering True Knockoff wheels with Firestone tires. They're 75016 on the rear. Give you an idea of the front suspension here, I mean the back suspension. I might be getting a little bit warm crazy because I'm hot. Ladder bar style front bars. Of course, buggy spring, there's a turbo 350 transmission there. Has cutouts that you could pull the caps off and listen to it. The hairpins here. Has a dropped axle, it's a chassis engineering style. There's the turbo 350 right there. This is the car that you can drive. This car's been driven. And it's the kind of car you're going to want to drive, but you're also going to want to put it in your collection and protect it. The front end here, PS Engineering wheels are also 16s. They're a uh, 650 16 on the front. All chrome front suspension, chrome hairpins, uh, SoCal uh, uh, style front disc brakes on it. Very, they're hidden behind Buick drums. Give you a feel of the axle here, chrome axle, chrome front suspension. I'll give you a feel there. Chrome spreader bar in the front. Let's see, I'm looking at a little cheat sheet here to make sure I don't miss anything on the undercarriage. Walk around, just kind of give you a feel here. I'm staring at my cheat sheet while I'm running around here showing you all this stuff. Unbelievably well assembled car, assembled by pros, built specifically for SoCal Speed Shop Las Vegas. It was built in Pomona. Anyway, I probably covered most of that at Spud's Garage at the beginning of this video, but make sure when you're all done here, go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty of still photos of this car. In the meantime, have a great day. There's Lenny putting it away. This is where you're going to come pick it up from. SoCal Speed.